Limb Alignment Analysis Limb alignment analysis enables orthopedic surgeons to take unilateral or bilateral anatomical measurements, compare them to normative standards, and to simulate corrective procedures. Select the Limb Alignment Analysis Measurement Tool in the Measurement Tools tab. For an AP image, specify whether you want to measure unilaterally or bilaterally by selecting the appropriate radio button from the drop-down list. At any stage after marking the anatomy with the wizard, you can click on the Show Alignment Analysis checkbox under the table to see the anatomical measurements on the image and Store Preoperative Measurements to lock the displayed preoperative measurements on the table before or while simulating osteotomies. The following bilateral measurements can be made. MLDFA, Mechanical Lateral Distal Femoral Angle. MMPTA, Mechanical Medial Proximal Tibial Angle. MLDTA, Mechanical Lateral Distal Tibial Angle. A wizard is displayed in the Measurement Tools tab that guides you through the process of identifying anatomical markers by clicking on them in the image. Follow the steps in the wizard and mark the relevant points on the image corresponding to each step as shown. The anatomical measurements are shown in the top left corner of the Measurement Tools tab, including right, left, and normal for angles, or discrepancy for bone and limb length. Osteotomy Simulation After completing the limb alignment measurements, a simulation of osteotomies and implant selection can be done. Before proceeding, be sure to store the preoperative measurements by selecting the Store Preoperative Measurements checkbox upon completing the limb alignment analysis. You can now find the center of rotation of the angulation, CORA, of the deformity using the CORA tools. Access these tools by selecting Measurement Tools, CORA Tools, in the menu bar as shown. For osteotomies, define the fragments using the Define Fragment tool, which is accessible from the toolbar and the menu bar. Double-click a fragment to cut the fragment. Then, choose the exact location of the osteotomy in the Location of Osteotomy window. The red circle that appears after completing the osteotomy is the axis of rotation of the fragment and will be placed automatically at the Cora if it was calculated previously or it can be placed and be manipulated manually. Simulation of the osteotomies can now be done by moving the green dot or by clicking on the control key on the keyboard while moving the distal fragment. Multiple osteotomies can be done for the same procedure. Now you can zoom in and measure the osteotomy's parameters, such as length angle and so on. The projected postoperative measurements are displayed in the table.